In this video, we're going to take a look at automated website scraping using make.com and Google Sheets. Um, so let's take a look at what we got. We have some URLs or websites. I just made a note about um, what's inside the website. So this is my blog. This is searching for best vacuum. We have a New York Times article. And then how to make pancakes. These, and then we're gonna get some raw scraping data. We're gonna do a uh, character count. This will come in later, why we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do an AI summary of the information and we have a column for more information. So I've split this up into two parts. We have a simple scrape, and then we have a smarter scrape. Let's go through the simpler scrape first because this is the simpler one and it's free. Um, we have a search row start. This is a trigger. Essentially, it's going to search the rows inside my sheet and find all the URLs. That's pretty simple. We then have a variable here because we're going to route it to simple. So if it's one simple route, if the method is set to two, we're going to do the smart route. Inside the simple route, we have an HTTP node which has a get function. And we're going to get the URL from our spreadsheet, which is these URLs here. We're going to pass that in. This is going to give us uh, HTML back from the website. We're going to take that HTML and convert it to text by using this text parser. So we're simply going to take the data from the HTTP node, convert it into text. We're then going to do an AI summary. So this is a standard setup of a chat GPT node we're using GPT-4. System prompt, you're an expert summarizing, expert at summarizing transcripts. And then we're going to say, please do this for the summary. And then in the transcript down here, we have used a transcript equal, equals and then a substring text then 0 to 40,000 in order not to overload the AI. Then we're going to do a, it's going to do this first. We're going to do a scrape or we're going to update the Google sheet with the row number. We contain headers. Yes, we do. We're going to put the raw scrape data into this uh, column C and the AI summary in E is here. Raw scrape data C summary E. Okay, let's run this once and it should pull in our data, correct? AI summary, correct? Let's see, we will then update the first URL and it will continue over to the second one, done summarizing, up over here, then expand here and see all the text that we get back. Of course, it's probably gonna do a timeout when I'm filming um, here, not yet. Of course, it's, ah, there we go. It didn't time out. Awesome. Now, we got I didn't calculate okay, this one second length here. There we go. So we got all the scrape data here in text format. We have the AI summary here about me talking. And then I am summarizing all the character count here because there's a stark difference between the two systems. Now we ran into an error. This was kind of intentional on the second one because the error here is you can only put 50,000 characters in a, single, in a single cell in Google Sheets. That means that we're getting too much data, too, mo too many characters back here. Like this is a massive document we're getting back. So in order to solve this, go to our raw scrape and then say sub string. Then we do from character zero to 45,000. Now, we will mitigate this. We can run this once again. So while this is running <clears throat> again, I can also explain the next version, the smarter. In here, we are using data for SEO. Um, what data for SEO? It's an SEO API service, which is paid, but uh, it's fairly cheap. What this allows us to do is one, we can do searches on Google. We can also scrape websites, URLs 
using their API and get parsed data back. The reason why this is smart is because parsing uh, data from an, a website like in HTML, taking the raw HTML, converting that into structured data is really, really hard because each site has different um, layouts. We can see this is my site. Let's just open up these three sites here. You'll start to see why it might be a good idea to do the smarter route. So my site is very simple. This is easy to scrape. It's just an article, not, not much more than a simple article. When we get into the wire cutter, then we have a lot more information. You have um, these callouts from Amazon, you have newsletter signouts, you have like, then we go into like, this is another article. Nothing to do with like, maybe it did. Yeah, it did. Okay, <laughs> actually, it did. Once we get down to here, we get more information. And then the last one with the pancakes. This is like, it's only down to here, like it's 10% of the site, which is the actual recipe. The rest of it is reviews. Like, we don't want to scrape all the reviews. That's not why. And in order to um, structure each and every site, you need a different strategy per site in order to get the correct information. So let's just see here. We got 106,000 characters 867 on the simple version so the ai summary here pretty clear this one we got transcript is a sitemap not really correct and then guidance provided tech batteries like it's not even in the raw data here i don't know if we're even getting down to the actual oh no. like we're we're capping off since we can only do 50,000, we're capping off the data before we even get to the article. Um, like this is just fluff, like there's no article information here. Again, this one, that was the pancake one. We do get pancake recipe and then we get like all the thousands of reviews. So do get some recipe information here, which is good. Um, but we also get like a lot of reviews and we reason why I'm pulling in this raw character count is that we are wasting so many characters on open AI tokens by doing it this way. But let's look at the other method. Let's set this to two. Then look, we're going to do a HTTP request for API.data4SEO. And we are going to give it the URL, uh, JavaScript false, expelling false, store raw HTML true. Then we need another one, which is content parsing live. We need to do the live one first, and then we need to do, we then get all this information to that call, then take the information, we iterate over it. You get it in a more complex way. So we need to iterate over the content that we get back in order to format it the way we want. But the result of doing it this way, then compiling it all together is, my opinion, much better and smarter. But let's delete this again. We already saved like the total number of characters here. Let's do one more. We'll now run this way. We do burn more um, make.com operations. That is correct. But the output and the way we get information is a lot cleaner. So now we get the raw scrape. You can now see we have H2, H3, H3. Like this is structured. We can now actually see the actual outline of the model, or of the blog article. Um, and I deleted those again. Just gonna length these. Whoops. And that was much faster than before. So instead of wasting 106,000, and we, we kept it at 45,000 on the raw character count, this would have been higher. We are now under half. So this is 60% uh, reduction characters plus. You can actually see that get the information up front. Like we filter out all the noise and the AI summary is actually giving us correct information back and condensing the real information. Hmm. Fortunately, without the actual content, this one missed the point. So we do get it here. That was weird. Last time I ran it, it did just fine. 
do check here. Third one. This one should have been okay. Didn't it seem? I think I actually got the wrong text. I'm actually summarizing the wrong note. This is not the full heat. This no. Let's just run that. That was me messing up. It just we also get more information, get the title and the word count of the entire article. And I was summarizing only this. <clears throat> yeah, that was my oh there we go. Now it up once. See, it should be faster since we're not like we're reducing the character count. So the AI summarization now. Yeah, now we got correct. My mistake. And last one. Go update. Here we go. Sep and recipe describes this. We use this. Do it. Then, yeah, we're summarizing the correct stuff now. And you can see in the raw character got lower. This is, of course, not super useful but um, building like when we do content systems this part here is what we built into the content generation systems um, so and you of course you could do something like this but again you would be wasting a lot of characters input characters or the ai um, thereby wasting a lot of precious money on trying to get a lesser output because you need to understand that an AI when you're feeding it data you're feeding it too much fluff or like if there is too much of the ancillary information it will have a harder time digging out the correct information so by setting up a system like this where you're feeding it the correct information not uh, HTML fluff or or, um, whatever you're trying to input, you're feeding it the correct information, the AI will give you a better output. So I'm uh, very confident that you can see that by implementing this string of uh, nodes here, you would be able to get some good scrape information. And you can, of course, do a API or a search for uh, the top 20 uh, websites or a given keyword, that's what we're doing, we're giving it a keyword, then we're sending that to data for SEO, getting back top 20, doing, putting that to an AI, so we would be um, like, just this here, so we do a SERP or keyword, then we do an AI here to pick out, we'll add rename, uh, pick top three, for example, we output that as a comma separated file. Then we actually do iterator. Then we will add need a text like thing text aggregator here iterator. Then we of course summarize. Then in the input file we do take content. So we tell the AI, please um, please take this uh, list of uh, URLs and output. Um, so we'll do please take this list of URLs and output a comma separated list. Then we'll do URL one comma URL two comma something like this. Example. There we go. The reason we do this is because then we can take the output. We can do like this split, take the output and we split by a comma. That way it becomes an array. And it will iterate, so take each of the top picks from this uh, AI node and do this summarization on it. And you will then, of course, unlink here, like unlink here, you put the AI node inside here for the, then instead of the AI node, you'll then do the text aggregator and continue your writing system. So all this is already in some of our free stuff and just go download it. But I'll uh, share, I'll just clean this up again. And I'll share this under this uh, YouTube video. So I hope you uh, found this helpful. Um, please uh, do a thumbs up on the video it really helps. Um, yeah. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye.